equality is everyone receives the same thing regardless of what they might need. And equity is everybody receives what they need in order to reach sort of this, a similar standard or similar level, right? What's missing in your school that you suspect other schools have? One library for six schools. So it's kind of like, you know, where do you go to if you need an assignment? We have computer labs, but those computers are older than my grandpa. So in all honesty, I don't, I don't see why they're gonna assign us to a computer lab where keyboards are stolen, first of all, mouses are stolen, you, the com you're writing something down, all of a sudden the computer shuts down and then there goes your assignment, you know? We basically have a gematorium which is pretty bad because of the fact that people get hit by poles, we have this little slope down that people can trip and fall. We don't necessarily have a stage, we have this little stage, I guess. And also we have a theater class, which makes it even worse for us because we, we necessarily don't know where to perform our you know talent shows and stuff at. And we basically practice it in a classroom that's very cramped. The, the branch that decides which, uh, how, how much each district or how, how much each state should get is, is that, that's what it comes down to. Cause like, it's, the money. Yeah, because I believe it's like a pyramid, because at first you got the legislature, the, the branch that decides how much each state gets in terms of money. Right. And then you got the DOE. Then the DOE is what decides how, how much each district should get. And I believe that that's what's really screwing us over. The government acting like some puppet master, controlling our lives and shit, acting like we're, we're a piece of trash. That's, that's not the case. We're not a piece of trash. We, we're normal people. Just because I'm a teacher don't mean I don't have any power at all. I'm, I have power. I have the freedom of speech, for God's sake. The freedom of speech. I feel a major problem with my school is, well, we do have, well, we're understaffed, that's first of all, but the staff that we do have is not necessarily involved extremely with the students. There are the exceptions, and there is an exception to every rule, but in this case, like, most teachers are just not involved with the students. They don't, I don't want to say they don't care, but the, the, how much they care is minimal. I see schools as something else completely. I see them as they truly are, a white tower on a lonely island in a sea of indecision. There are certain teachers that will spend more time on the students that aren't focusing in class than to the students who actually want to learn the lesson. So if a student's in the back of the class on their phone, that teacher will lecture that student say, hey, you're supposed to be paying attention because this is going to be on the region, blah, 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 when the kids who already know that the regents is coming are, are not learning the lesson and therefore that loses time. A constitutional right isn't something you can put on hold indefinitely, right? We can't say, give us like seven years and then we're gonna provide enough money so you can buy the up-to-date computers. And let's say you started in fifth grade today. Maybe you have nieces or nephews or siblings or you know some young people who are in fifth grade. They would be graduating, they would be out the door by the time the state would have provided all the resources it's supposed to, by law, provide. There should be like more student-led organizations, like, yeah. you know, kids of color is kind of, not, I mean, difficult, yeah, but like, you know, you want to talk about the issues and like, like people saying about the staff, you know, you want to, I, I think that students should have like a group where they can improve their school rather than just like a student council, because they just talk. Well, I saw the problems before. I could see the issues, and I could see in my head. I was thinking, maybe this is a solution. Maybe I, we could do this to fix it. But I never put that, put that into action. Mm -hmm. Now, now that I realize I can actually make some kind of a difference through what I love, which is acting, which is playwriting, directing, any of that, now I, I want to do this so that I can help others who are like me.